Zenith Bank don't drop a combined rights issue and uh, public offer update. They didn't even bother to do a fact behind the offer for us, Selense Bank. They just dropped one video where they are signing something and that's it. I waited and waited. No facts behind the rights issue is forthcoming, but that will not deter us. In this video, I'll tear Zenith Bank, vam, 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 so that you all can determine for yourselves if Zenith Bank is worth investing in. Hello, my people. I'm back again talking about money matters that concern us as Nigerians. My name is Flo. And in this bank solidation season, in this season where all the banks are coming with their plates, begging for our money, I've taken it upon myself to analyze every bank so that you can decide. All these videos, all these series of videos are on the premise of my original video that I made that Nigerian share prices are at their all time high. So imagine, all time high is not when you want to be buying but look at all these banks doing public offers doing rights issues at the very top remember we don't buy at the mountain we buy in the valley <laughs> so but anyway we're going to analyze them if you really really want to jump into the nigerian stock market yeah they are at your disposal on this channel i share facts and i share my opinions Whenever I share facts, I'll tell you where I got the facts from. Usually from public information that these banks or companies I'm analyzing have on their websites. And when it's my opinion, you will know it's my opinion because it will be sprinkled in between the data. Yeah? The ultimate decision to buy or not to buy is yours. I am not a financial advisor. I am not an investment banker. All my opinions are based on my experiences investing in nigeria yeah i'm speaking as an investor all right i am not for anybody i am not for any bank i am not for any company if you want to hear the truth and nothing but the truth click the like button and continue watching like i said the only thing i've seen about senate bank public offer and rights issue was where they were just signing paper signing paper this happened about one week ago until now no facts behind the offer video nothing they can't be bothered even when you go to their website it doesn't look like they are selling anything anyway here's the summary of zenith bank's public offer offer price 36 naira 50 kobo per share their existing shareholders can get a hold of more shares by paying 36 naira only 50 kobo discount for their existing shareholders they can get it through the rights issue. What is Zenith Bank's price on the Nigerian Stock Exchange itself? Okay, just before the announcement on July 31st, it was 33 Naira 10 Kobo per share on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. And since then, it has been rising. <laughs> so they did like uh, Access Bank. It was Access Bank, right? That is selling a rights issue to existing shareholders at a price that is higher than the market price. So these guys actually peg theirs at about three naira more than the stock market price. But now it has caught up. <laughs> Zenith Bank needs to raise 500 billion naira for international license, but the amount of money they will raise from the combined rights issue and public offer is only 290 billion. They will be raising only about 99 billion naira from the public offer and they will use it to maintain their branches all over the country. Another brick and mortar. <laughs> they will use it for loans to SMEs, invest in technology, and expand to African and European markets. And I have a question. I thought that this money that they are raising, this 500 billion for international license and 200 billion for national license, I thought that it's cash that they will have, like cash down. Either they deposit it with CBN or whatever to show that they have cash, that they have liquidity or something like that. But so far, we've seen that they are going to chase money when they make all this money. They say, this is what we're going to use this money for. So I'm wondering, is it not cash that they should present? Are you allowed to point at infrastructure invested in with this cash? 
and it will still like get you the license or get you qualified as a as an entity i don't know please let me know in the comments if you know the answer to this because I don't understand it. Uh, can you point at this? I say, okay, this technology, we used 100 billion to develop it. We use this. So at the end of the day, the infrastructure is counted. Is that what it means? The offer went live on the 1st of August and will run till 9th September 2024. So grab your copies now if you are interested. But hold it, hold it, hold it. Before you do that, we need to compare and contrast with another bank that I would say is as big as Zenith. They have the same share price point. So we can compare them. That bank is GT Bank. Yeah, the bank I've chosen to compare them with. GT Bank is also doing a public offer, but their own offer price is 44 Naira, 50 Kobo per share. 8 Naira more than Zenith Bank's public offer price. Here's a comparison of the two companies using the most important indicators to me. To me, oh, as an investor what do you consider before you buy into a company please let me know below yeah what is important to you all the data i'm using here today yes we are chopping statistics <laughs> all the data i'm using here today i got from zenith and gt bank's website from their financial reports for each year if you want to know how i extract this data for this analysis the link will be below, okay? I have an ebook for that. Let's start with what the prices of the shares of these companies have been over the past five years. Yes, the analysis is for the past five years. That's uh, enough for us to do the analysis. Five years is enough, yeah? GT Bank share price used to be much higher than that of Zenith, but in the past three years, their share prices became about the same. Earnings per share, even when the share price of GT Bank was higher than that of Zenith, they were making about the same profits. You can see in 2019, the share price of GT Bank was almost double that of Zenith. But they made the same amount of money the same year. GT Bank made 6 Naira 96 Kobo per share, while Zenith Bank made 6 Naira 65 Kobo per share. Hardly any difference, yeah? Share price is truly not an indicator that a company is doing well. It's your job as an investor to look into their books and make informed decisions before buying. The same thing happened in 2020. GT Bank was selling at an average share price of 25 Naira per share. Zenith Bank was selling at 16 Naira, 80 Kobo per share. Remember, this was average share price for that year for both companies. In spite of the price difference, they once again made about the same profit. And look at 2021. The share price of GT Bank is still more than that of Zenith. But Zenith made more money than GT Bank. And since then, Zenith has been making more money for shareholders than GT Bank. I know that these earnings are quoted on a per share basis. I also know that they may not have equal amount of shares, but this number contributes to how much you will get as a shareholder if you buy into this company. So it matters to you as an investor. Let's continue. Last year, 2023, you can see that these banks made a lot more money than the previous years. So when they tell you our profits rose by 300% in one year, <laughs> that is from Forex, also known as windfall that came with Tinubu's regime with the floating of the Naira. Banks brought out the foreign money that they've been hoarding and started selling it and made 300%. Yeah, that's where that 300% profit came from because the dollar was around 500 Naira before the floating of the Naira. And then it, it went up to 1,800 Naira per dollar. So you do the math. And now they want to be taxed 50% on that windfall. Or is it 70% now? I read in the news recently that it's now itching for 70% tax on it. Also, they were not allowed to use it to pay dividends. Now, how much did these banks pay their shareholders? Now that one, they important to us. You can see that even when GT Bank shares were trading at a much higher price than Zenith, Zenith was paying the same dividend in Naira and Kobo as GT Bank. In the world of investing, that means that Zenith Bank's investors were getting a higher return on investment than the GT Bank investors. Let's say Mr. A bought 1,000 GT Bank shares in 2019 and Mrs. B bought 1,000 Zenith Bank shares in the same 2019 
at the end of the financial year, GT Bank paid 2 naira 80 kobo per share in dividends. And Zenith Bank also paid 2 naira 80 kobo per share in dividends. Mr. A invested 1,000 multiplied by 30 naira 65 kobo. That will give you 30,650 naira. And he was paid 1,000 multiplied by 2 naira 80 kobo, which is 2,800 naira as dividend. Mrs. B, on the other hand, invested 1,000 multiplied by 18 naira 80 kobo which was the average share price of Zenith shares in 2019. So she invested 18,800 Naira and was paid the same amount as Mr. A at the end of the financial year 2019. So Mrs. B has also received 2,800 Naira. Who got a better deal as far as investing in these two banks is concerned? Let me know in the comments. This one shouldn't be hard, should it? In 2020, again, they both paid the same amount in dividends. In 2021, Zenith Bank overtook GT Bank in dividend payouts. And from the next year, it looks like GT Bank started copying Zenith. They paid what Zenith paid the previous year. The same in 2022. <laughs> and last year, 2023, you see what I was saying? That they were not allowed to pay dividends from the forex windfall in spite of all the profit they made in 2023 they still paid only a slight increase from what they paid the previous year here's the dividend yield which summarizes the mr a and mrs b illustration i did earlier dividend yield is pretty much the interest you got from the investment your roi return on investment remember this is from historical data i am in no way giving you assurance that senate bank will continue to pay better dividends than gt bank please we don't know what will happen in the future no matter how well you are at predicting these things you will never know we are working based on historical data i'm not your financial advisor i am just interpreting the data i see here from the past five years i did not make up this data please i have an ebook where i share with you how i download extract all this data from publicly available data on the internet yeah you can do it too link below you can see that between these two companies zenith typically gives you more returns on investment except for 2022 when they paid about the same dividend yield another important thing to an investor is dividend payout ratio what percentage of their earnings is the company you invested in paying you as dividends can the company pay you better dividends but they're not doing so simply because they're stingy <laughs> you need to call them and ask them questions you can see that both of these companies are not stingy at all they are consistently paying at least 40 percent of their earnings to their investors you can see that the dividend payout ratio for 2023 is low again that's what i said about them not being allowed to pay dividends with the windfall from forex that's why they made a lot of money last year but they did not pay out the usual 40% minimum in dividend payouts. Then PE ratio, which if you have been following this channel, especially the shares videos bumper to bumper, you will remember that this number needs to be as close to one as possible. These two companies have similar PE ratio with GT banks slightly higher, which shows that GT bank shares is slightly overpriced. Yes, P-E ratio is also an indication of whether the share price of a particular company is okay based on the money that you're making from that company or it's overpriced or underpriced. You can also call it normal value, overvalued and undervalued. So the further this number is away from the number one, it means that it's overpriced, which means that the share price can be lower like the share price that you see at the market or whatever they are quoting on their public offer is too high. That's what it shows as well. So assuming that you're investing, you're going to invest, even if you're not going to invest. If you were to invest, which of these two banks will you go for? Zenith Bank or GT Bank? And why? Let me know in the comments below.